Okay, should you add ankle weights to your feet to get faster or improve your performance for GEA? Um, I got this question on DM on Instagram during the week, um, and I'm gonna do a full video on it because it's something that I fell victim to myself. When I was 15 or 16, I added weights to my feet, and I used to do my two 3K runs with weights added to my feet, thinking that it was gonna improve my performance. Um, the truth is, at that age, I didn't understand body, body biomechanics, I didn't understand the muscular system that well, um, and the truth is, now, knowing what I know now, adding weights to your ankles when you run as an athlete or as a GEA player is probably actually gonna have a detrimental effect on your performance because what happens is, as you step and hit the ground at every step, you have extra weight there and it's gonna pull through your quads and pull through and tighten up your hip flexors. So what happens with a lot of players is, particularly at that age, 15, 16, 17, when you're growing um, and your muscles haven't fully developed and your body hasn't fully developed, you're putting extra strain through your hip flexors, which is effectively the region that you want to keep loose. You want to get your glutes to fire and you want to keep your hip flexors loose as any athlete where twisting and turning or kicking is a priority. They're the things you need to make sure that you're doing. So I would advise not adding weights to your ankles when you're running because that's going to have a negative effect on your performance. There's other things you can do with those weights. You can, by all means, you can add them to your feet and you can do glute kickbacks and you can add them. You can do some form of raises or squats with them where you're bringing your feet up and it's not loading through your hip flexors and it's loading through your quads but running with them is going to have a negative effect so what I would advise you doing instead as an athlete regardless of your age 15 16 26 27 34 35 the main thing for a GA player is making sure your glutes fire and you keep your hip flexors loose so whatever program you're doing whether it's a home-based program or a gym-based program you're doing things that are getting your glutes to fire you're getting your glutes to switch on you're getting that mind muscle connection so that when you go out onto the pitch that muscle fires faster and you're able to take off quick and you're able to jump higher so things like your squats where you're coming up slow negatives and an explosive positive through your glutes you're doing glute pop-ups you're doing different variations where your glutes are getting used to activating and firing. Not only this, in terms of terms of improving performance, that can pull everything back into alignment in your kinetic chain, so it can reduce your risk of injury. A lot of athletes that get quad injuries, groin injuries, hamstrings injuries, comes down to your glutes not firing and your body compensating elsewhere. A lot of quad injuries, if your glutes aren't firing, it's, it's kind of like your weakest man pulling and you're all pulling a rope and your weakest person isn't and everything else has to work harder. So if your glutes aren't firing, your hamstrings have to work harder, your quads have to work harder. Whereas if you can get everything working at optimal level, it's going to improve your overall performance. On top of that, keeping your hip flexors loose, myofascial release through the quads, static and dynamic stretches through the hips, making sure you stretch out your iliac if you're tied up through your abs or through your core, wherever it is that you're tight, making sure you're loosening all of that up so that your hip flexors are able to optimize and they're not going to get too tight, which is going to pull on everything else and it'll also affect your glutes not firing and making sure that they are working in an optimal way so that when you go on to the pitch, that's loose, your glutes are firing and your performance is going to be at its optimal level. Adding resistance or adding weight to your ankles when you run is probably going to have a negative effect on all of that. So my advice would be to use those weights in a different way. You can add resistance elsewhere, but don't do it when you're doing your running because it's probably going to have a negative effect on your performance regardless of your age. Whether you're 15, 16, 25, 26, it's not something that I'd advise. I would build your training program around getting your glutes to fire, keeping your hip flexors looser, and then use your ankle weights on your arms or do them for some other movement and increase the resistance elsewhere. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you know anyone that had benefited from this or anyone that would uh, uh, that's either young or old that has been adding weights to their ankles, definitely tag them below or anyone that's just looking to improve their performance and what kind of things you need to do to get faster in terms of getting your glutes to fire and loosen your hip flexors, be sure to tag them below and I hope it helps.